this is a pretty nice little storage device. The first time I saw one, it was on an advanced RV, uh, Class B motorhome. And I saw it, and I said, that's pretty cool. It's a anything keeper. It says, anything keeper hides your stuff so you can keep everything clean. And it mounts underneath a cabinet. It's a, uh, let me open the box up here. This is what's inside. I bought this off of eBay. And it comes with some mounting screws, a little non-slip pad, and the product itself. Let's throw that over here. Okay, so this is what it looks like, uninstalled. And it mounts up underneath the cabinet. Like this. Well, I've already installed one right here and you see you just pull it down like that and you have access you pull it down and you can throw stuff in there like uh oh just whatever you got phone or battery charger you know for a for a camera so you can throw that in there and push it back up it's got a couple magnets that hold it and it's right there it's just really pretty neat so Little little extra space is taken up underneath here, but it's not bad. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and install uh, one more. I have two more to put in here. So I'm gonna install the next one. And uh, it's pretty simple, four screws. But it's, it's a little bit of work to get to those screws. I'll explain that in a second, so hold on. The RV that I'm working on right now, it's a Coachman Beyond. And this is the rear cabinet. This is on the driver's side. And inside there's four screws there's one right here there's one in the back corner and the corner there and then there's another one up here they're square drives so I'm going to go ahead and pull those screws out so stand by all right We've got a, a square bit drive and pretty short screws it's just a little awkward to do that's what the screw looks like just a little bitty thing so I got a cup throw them in the cup so you don't lose them Now you can see what's inside there. There's wires run for the speaker. Uh, they go back into the wall there. They come across over here to go to the forward cabinet for the lighting and stuff. So you have to be real careful when you drill through walls in an RV that you don't drill into a pipe or a wire or, or something. So it's if you can open it up like this, this is great. That way you know what you're drilling into. So hold on. Okay, so this is what the brackets look like if you have it installed. It's gonna, when it's hanging, it'll be hanging down like this. So it's upside down right now. But you can see here's a, a mounting hole here, a magnet. This helps, it sticks to this to keep it shut. And there's another mounting hole back here. And then there's also double stick tape. So this is pretty neat. The double stick tape, uh, I wouldn't trust it to hold it. But it makes it a lot easier to install because you can figure out where you want to put it and then double stick it. And it'll hold it temporarily until you drill your holes and mount your screws. Now, okay, the distance from the from the front edge of the unit to the back hole is eight and three eighths inches. Okay, here's a problem. I measured and from the front edge where this, the mount would be to back eight and three-eighths inch, it's where that hole is. 
right here. So that messes up the um, using this vertical board as a support. So what I want to have to do in this situation is drill possibly another hole in the metal bracket so I can move it forward some or shift the mount so it's a little bit further to the rear but I don't have room to do that because of where the speaker is so I'm gonna have to see if I can drill a hole in that metal bracket if I can put my screw through so stand by okay so I drilled a new hole a little bit further forward so I won't have to worry about the wires in that hole in the wood up there so next thing I gotta do is just align this up and mount it and screw it up there and okay so I want to use this board in here as the rear mount where the screw will go in and these boards up here will be for the front so I need us at the center right here this the center line I drew here so I can continue it down here so I'll know where to align my um, bracket underneath it so okay so I place this up where it would go and I just took a little uh, drill and just drilled a small hole in the wood for a second just to mark it pull this down and then I went ahead and I drilled the hole into the wood up into that center board it's actually going it's actually going into this board right here the back one will go into this board and then the third hole will go here and then back here I'll put a block of wood and drill it into there so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this tape off a little bit like this just so that I can put it up against here I'll put the first screw in and I'll start it and so it'll be held in place and then I'll pull that tape off the paper off the sticking part and I'll just stick it up there and secure it with the tape to hold it okay so now the two front screws are in and they're holding it up there but the tape is also kind of keeping it stuck up in place pull that down like this so I can get back here and screw these in because you see the the tapes there but it's not really holding it so my next drill is there right there so hold on okay, well, the third the fourth hole came up right here there's nothing really to support it but this little plywood so what I'm gonna do a block of wood in here like that a two by four and then that'll give it something to pull on it'll distribute the the pull of it across a bigger area than just a little piece of plywood so next I just got to drill that one in there screw it in the the holes in the uh, cabinets already made I'm just gonna just drill it into that not drill it but screw it into that through the bottom so hold on okay so now it's just screwed in place and let's see there we go the speaker I could have moved it a little bit further forward but I didn't want to risk missing that center board so it's really kind of close right there it just kind of binds it a little bit but my wife will probably leave it open like that most of the time anyway and all that leaves left to do is to throw this board back down like that and then put those six screws back in there to hold it down and that unit's done okay so I've got this one mounted up here and we're going to mount another one underneath the pantry right here. This is a pantry or a coat closet. We're going to put it up underneath here. It's just going to fit right up in there like that. Yeah, there's there's some furring strips that run along yeah. on both sides yeah. from front to back. So that's just perfect. And then it gives a little more room above it. So yeah. it's like it's custom made to mount this shelf. Uh -huh. But we're going to use... So we're just going to try using the little small screw that it came with. You're going to have that sticky tape up there to hold it. Yeah. And if it fails, we can take the small screws out, move the shelf down a half inch, and yeah. put it in with different screws. Make new holes. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to take this double stick tape off. Like that. And we're going to... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Lights. So it's going to go just like that, and it's just going to go just like that. Yeah. And I'll press it up there for a few seconds, and that's what it'll look like. So let's just put one of those little small screws in there. These are pretty tiny screws. Far 
to the side. That's okay. There's nothing to this. Okay, so that's that. And now we're going to pull it down. So we can access the back screws. Is that tight? Nope. A little further. Sure. Okay, that's good. Okay. One more screw and we're done. Nice. There we go. Oh. So that's how that works. And then we'll just slide it up. And that's it. Mm-hmm. It's not quite up. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now it's up. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Got any remotes to put in there? Yeah, there's a pack of them behind you. Here, hold yeah. this. I'll go get them. Right there. Just reach around behind you. Oh, they're in a plastic bag, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's put See what we're going to put in there. You pull that down there. Oh, that's, um, that's actually my um, Amazon stick, fire stick, and remote. Mm -hmm. And then the other remote's there. Here. No. That plastic bag is not that's, that's a puck light. Oh well, they're somewhere around here. Yeah. There they are. Okay. Well, we can't find them because they're not in their basket. Yeah. Let's put them in their basket. You can yeah. have to take them out. Take them out of that plastic bag, yeah. even. Yeah. They don't need to be in the ziplock. How about that a uh, little bit of a uh, foam you want to put in the bottom? We'll, we'll get, get that. that. We'll get that in a minute. Well, let's just take it out of here. Yeah, there's another one that has it in it. Yeah. So take that out. Put that in there. Got some non-slip foam. Ooh, how the remotes. Nice. Oh, nice. How about these? Um, you can just leave that all in there because okay. it's got the cable and stuff. Okay. And then that just goes there. Oh, that's real nice. And then you Two just. Other things to go in there yeah. if you need it. And you push it up. There we go. I think it's good to use your hands to pull it. Yeah. Up. Yeah. And then you can. How do you get it down? Yeah. So okay. there we go. Nice. So that's my little mount. And then from back here, let's see, it's not all the way up. There we go. That's, there it is. So I got that one there. And then I've got bright light. Sorry about the bright light. Let me dim that light a little bit, maybe. There we go. I got one there. And I got one over here. Extra storage. Okay, so that in, that, uh, completes the installation of those three little storage bins. Got one underneath the uh, coat closet. I'll keep my remotes in. I got one over where my wife sleeps. I got one over where I sleep. That way we can put stuff like our glasses, our cell phone, uh, little things like that in there. So, uh, you know, in a small RV, Class B, you need you have, to, you have to have storage. So everything you can do to make it suit you is nice. So. Everybody's different, but a lot of people will probably like these little little shelves. They're really handy, and uh, they're about 30 bucks a piece from Amazon. So um, if you need a little extra storage, these work great. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.